Welcome to the Totally Awesome Fishing Show, quite simply, the fastest growing fishing show on YouTube. We're going to be looking at two items that will help you in your small boat fishing. They're both Garmin, their products, chart plotters, the 557 and the 557 XS, one of which has an additional piece of gadgetry you might be very interested in. I don't know about it, it's brand new, but on the Garmin stand is Craig, and he is their tech support guy, and he's going to be showing us exactly what these little critters can do. Let's check it out. But well, we're here, Craig is going to show us exactly what some of the new products on the Garmin stand is all about. Craig, what's this unit? Okay, so we've got the new GPS map 557. So this is combined GPS chart plotter and fish finder. We've got the ability, as we see here, we've got gauges options, so it can show engine information, wind, weather information. The unit has, it's a complete standalone unit, so you've got the GPS antenna built in. Um, you've got the charts for all of uh, UK and Ireland, including Northern France, built into it as well. So it's a very easy unit to get started with because all you've basically got to do is connect it to power to, to actually get it operational. So we can go in here and we've got the, the main navigation chart. So this will give us all our normal chart information with all the tidal data. We've got the customised data fields here. You can change the layout of the data fields, the information that's also displayed in those. So they can show things like your speed, depth, engine data, fuel tank levels. If we come out of here, we can actually do like a combination as well. So we can have combined, we've got combined charts views, we've got combined chart and sonar. So that's what we call split screen, like a split yep, screen effect and run the, run the two at the same time. Yep, see. So we can go down here, so we can have actually a combined chart view I with see. your sonar view. Um, and also you've got the ability to, to go through and also pull up the, the full screen sonar if you're not worried about seeing the chart information. So if the, the fisherman might just want that. That's the one I want, yeah. Yep. I want to know where the fish are, yeah. Yep. These units also now they will use the uh, the XS models will have our new chirp technology built into them. And what is that? Uh, chirp is it's a, a new type of transducer that's being brought out. Um, it's a spread spectrum transducer, so it actually pulses the frequency. So rather than using a set frequency like 50 or 200 kilohertz, it uses a different range of frequencies all in one go, which gives you the much clearer image, yes. the better target definition. So if there's a shoal of fish, as you're seeing here, rather than appearing as a large mass on the screen, it will actually pick out the individual fish targets. It breaks them down, effectively. Yeah. So you would see, as we're seeing here, each of the individual fish. But also, when the fish are lying close to the seabed, you're going to stand more chance of seeing them rather than blending in with the seabed. So you mean, yes, yeah. So we'll have a new range of transducers that are coming out with these. They'll all be plug and play, so they'll have the connections on the end, so you're not having to sit there and hardwire anything together. Yeah. It's just a simple plug and play option. Okay. Uh, GPS antenna built in on these. That's um, an internal one. Yeah. yeah. They have our new 10 hertz GPS antenna. So the GPS information will be updating 10 times a second. Whereas on the old stuff, it was only once a second. Oh, so really? that's quite a big improvement. Um, what you'll notice is if you're stood stationary with the GPS, you'll notice that the vessel icon will start to twitch around on the screen and you won't have a very accurate heading. Yes with the 10 hertz GPS because it's refreshing that, that, that more often it's going to be giving you that much more accurate heading information at the slower and when slower you're speed. I get, I get that on my boat. Slow speeds yeah. and I, I end up wandering around in circles. That's why yeah. it looks like you're crabbing a little bit. Yes. And yeah, that's, that's because of the update rate of the GPS. Okay. So a few other pages we've got on here. Um, we've got the, the gauges pages so we can do like trip computer, compass, um, wind information. So if we go down here, if you've got a outboard engine that outputs NMEA 2000 information, yes. yeah. you can actually pull up all the engine data on the screens as well. So you can have up to four engines connected. Quite handy for the guys that go long range if you're concerned about the range you're going to get, how much fuel you're burning. You get all that information up on here. Um, and then we've got the, the wind pages as well. So if you've got wind instruments linked into there, it'll give you the wind direction and speed. That's handy, yeah. So yeah. one unit which can do everything. And very compatible, that size is very, very small. That's right, it's a five inch display, very clear display as well. The resolution has really been enhanced compared to the previous models. And also the, the usability, they've taken our, 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 our very user friendly interface yes. and they've made it even more easy for the customers to use. So they've really sort of cut the menus down yeah. And, and everything is all the options are where you'd expect to, to have And you can them. see them, they're clear, you know, because when you're at sea bouncing around, you can see, you can read everything yeah. as well. Yeah. 
So you can see this is like a, a home, so it's, this would be your main menu and it gives you all the options that you need basically. Yeah. And what sort of retail is on this? What do they run out at? Um, so for the, there'll be two versions. There'll be the, the just the plotter and the combined plotter and sounder. So they're going to be coming in at about £700. Okay, yeah, yeah. And then obviously you can add your transducer to that. We'll do the different, for the, for the fish finding, you can have your standard transducers, the chirp ones, and all the different mounting options as well. And this is a fairly new piece of equipment, this one? You know, it how, is, yeah. This um, is what, 2012, 2013 coming out? Yeah, it's due out hopefully around about April time. Yeah. Um, and the big improvement on this as well, which I forgot to cover on, is that we're going to have wireless integration with this. Sure, so yeah. we have wireless built in, and you'll be able to pair it with our Blue Chart mobile app, put your route in on the app, yeah. and then wirelessly transfer that to the plotter. Oh, handy, handy. So quite handy when you're sat at home, planning your, your trip that you're going, going to be carrying out on. And that one is called? The GPS Map 557. Brilliant. OK, Craig, thank you very much. That's brilliant. That's a great insight into a new product. That's what I call totally awesome. Thank you.